moving code and reusing it opens up a lot of uh, possibilities. For example, at this point when we wanted to get the customer name, we needed to create a relation in this specific task. Why not just make it so that the customer ID type will give us the customer name and will save us all of that code across our application? Let's see how it's done. We switch over to our code. Okay, let's drop the date over here. Okay, so we currently want to remove this relation and have the customer type or customer ID type give us the description. So let's go to the customer ID type. This is the type over here. We can see that it's defined. We can see that it has an automatic zoom window, which we'll discuss a bit later. Okay. Now let's add a method here called get name. We'll at this point we'll return a name. Okay. So we've created this simple method over here. And now in our code, instead of going over to the customer's entity, we can go back to our orders entity open up the customer ID type and now select the get name method. So at this point we will see that all the customers will share a name. Okay? Now let's change that to return the proper name according to the customer's table. So we'll go back to the customer ID type. We'll take in a little class called description provider that's a utility class that we provide, which is obviously a code sample that you can change and adjust to your needs. Next, we'll make the definitions that it requires. We need to know from which tables we take the name. So we'll say customers from the models namespace customers table. And then we'll return the description provider dot get description. And we'll give it the data column, which is this, the customer ID. Next, it requires the entity, which is customers the value column which is customers dot customer id and the description columns that we would like customer dot customer name okay now that we run this we see that every customer got its proper name okay so at this point we see that the customer id type not only gives me formatting and zooming, it can also give me functionality or extra data on that customer. So all that's left to do now is just remove code that we don't need anymore. So by adding this method here and reusing it, we can remove the relation from our code. And we believe, actually I personally believe that the less code you have, the more stable it is, the less room you have to make mistakes. And this is important for any relation, but also imagine those uh, uh, links in your applications that requires multiple fields with multiple definitions and lookup tables. Making this simple like this, moving the code over to the type and making the type in charge of giving you the values that you need will save you a lot of time and a lot of errors.